It's probably going to be Alexander Madison, and that's probably not any type of surprise because of the news of Dalvin Cook being tendonless. What is it? T- t- what, what? Labrum. 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 You don't need a labrum to play football. No, not at all. <laughs> not not one, not two. You don't need any at all. There's still some optimism on if he'll play or not. But it's looking like Alexander Madison will be the RB1 for the Vikings, still available in 80% of NFL.com leagues. He had 30-plus touches and 150-plus scrimmage yards in both starts this season. We know the production's there. And it's the Lions. No offense. Why? I'm not offended. Like, we I know. To learn that, like, I I've established. Gotta, You're like, yeah. She hates them more than anybody else. There's nobody here more anti-Lion than Cynthia. Correct. <laughs> that is absolutely. Restore the roar? No. Never nope. going to happen. More never. like a meow. It's permanently a meow. But you know who's not a meow? Chuba Hubbard. Meow. You're going to want to get him, this Panther, because <laughs> Christian McCaffrey is no longer playing. So you got to go pick up Chuba Hubbard. Obviously, they're on a bye this week. But good luck in running back wasteland with all of these injuries if you're not going to try to pick someone up and stash them for a later play. I think it's a nice opportunity to take advantage of an offense that leverages the run, and they're going to probably keep leveraging the run going forward. Allegedly, Cam and PJ will both be taking snaps, but it's probably going to be Cam. So you want Chuba Hubbard. And let me reiterate that both of those players should be the, the top two priorities off your list. But if you if you have the number three spot, then take a look at Dontrell Hilliard, who has been amazing for the Tennessee Titans over the last couple of weeks. Obviously, he can run the football, but we really love him as a pass catcher out of the backfield as this team has kind of had to evolve the offense in the wake of Derrick Henry's injury. So to me, those are the top three guys to go after. You're looking at backup running backs at this point. And again, it goes back to what we talked about for seemingly just ever. Daisy Jackson there. I know. Good. Pushes them away. It's not quite <laughs> Derrick Henry. No. But yeah, this is one of the things. Like the team that you're rostering in week 16 is not the team that you drafted. No. And you got to be like, yeah, Dontrell Hilliard, Alexander Madison is my top two running backs. Yeah, that just, I felt that was going to be the case in August. Very on par. Maybe not. Sometimes it, it has to be. You have to make adjustments. So, Rick, you talked about prioritizing. Let's yeah. put a list up graphically for the top uh, waiver wire targets. In order one to three. The Madison and Hubbard are the top two guys, obviously. Uh, then we'll have Dontrell Hilliard. Boston Scott is actually a very good option this week for the Philadelphia Eagles. He gets all the rushing touchdowns. I think you're going to talk about that in a little bit. And then uh, Josh Reynolds. Oh, how do you like that? Josh Reynolds already on the thing. We talked about him before the show. Yeah. Can I say that? What? Uh, I know, oh, he, I, I know I he's I a just, lion. Listen, lion, know, but no. lie down. But That's no, we were talking about like how he's he's an exciting player. He's got a high ceiling. No, he does have a high ceiling. High ceiling. Okay, fine. I'm gonna say I'm gonna tr- I'm gonna change my entire tune right now. I love the Lions. I can't no, no, love the Lions. I love them. They're the best don't, team in the league. They're lovable losers. Way. Who doesn't love a good loser? Oh you know, who doesn't Patrick, love a great you know, loser? Like they're like great in loser. couples therapy. There can, be, well, there yeah. can be a middle ground. You don't have to like them. We've got you just we, have to sit in the same room. We've got NFC North therapy going on. I don't want to have to have two rooms for you. Like Josh Reynolds has got to be on the game day morning set, and then I have to be in here or anything like that. I Give me who are your awesome. waiver targets. I don't know. Are you sure? Is you know, it yeah, my turn? Time is it, the people your waiver is it my target. turn? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. <laughs> Just confirming it's my turn, Adam Ray. You know what? You good? You good, no. buddy? All right. Yeah, it's let's chill, bro. Let's chill, bro. All right. Uh, ranking my priorities. Obviously, number one, it's Alexander Madison. Number two, <laughs> it's Chuba Hubbard. If you can't grab them, maybe a Jamal Williams situation. And number three, Kendrick Bourne. You know what's really funny? Just switch one and two and it's mine. So we're not going to save a little bit of time. I thought I was being clever adding Kendrick Ford to be like, hey, you need to get these two, but then also Kendrick Ford. Like, I love it. All right. <laughs> we're in mind think alike. Yeah. So Except go. We're playing each what other about Josh Reynolds? It's going to be bad. <laughs> Run to the waiver. Go get Josh Reynolds. He's most awesome. Importantly, most he's importantly, add Josh Reynolds.